will solve some more questions on linear equations. The same question solve and verify. As, I, as you can see, I have already done some questions. Today, we will be solving these questions and I want all of you to go through each step carefully. Okay? So let's start with the first question. So here also you can see we have the denominator 7, 3, 5 and 25 has no denominator. So I have already written here 1. Okay? So what will be the LCM of 7, 3, 5? We will calculate it very easily. It will be 105. Okay? So let us start solving. Put implies that sign. So you can multiply. You have to multiply the first thing. The LCM is how much? 105. So if you want, you can skip this step. That means what is the step you want? I am asking to skip. Instead of writing 105 multiplied to x plus 3 by 7, minus 105 multiplied to this by 3. What you can do? I told you that LCM divided by the denominator. So 105 divided by 7 will give us how much? 15. Yes or no? 105 divided by 7. So let me write down directly here. 15 multiplied to x plus 3. Right? What I have done? I have taken the LCM of the denominators first. LCM divided by the first denominator. What is the first denominator? It's 7. So 105 divided by 7 will give me 15. So I multiply 15 with the numerator. Right? Next. 105 divided by 3 will give me how much? 35. So 105 divided by 3 gives me 35. And the numerator is 2x minus 5. Then equal to 105 divided by 5 will, 5 will give me how much? 21. 21 multiplied to 3x minus 5 and then 105 multiplied to 25. Okay. Now let us solve this. So 15 multiplied to x plus 3. So 15 is first multiplied to x. 15x. 15 is then multiplied to 3. 45. All are plus plus only. No need to worry. Now minus 35 multiplied to 2x will give me minus 70x. Clear? Minus 35 multiplied to minus 5. Minus multiplied to minus will give me plus. And this will be 175. Okay. Now we have here 63x minus 105. Now this will be just calculated. You will get it. 2625. Okay. Yes. 2625. Now let us arrange the light. That means all the x. We want to find the value of x. So let us bring all the x to the left hand side. So we have 15x minus 70x minus 63x. I will bring this side. So it becomes minus 63x. Simply I have arranged the x together in the left hand side. On the left hand side. Now on the right hand side already I have minus 105. I am left with minus 105. Minus 2600. 25 and this plus 45 goes this side the right hand side becomes minus 45 and plus 175 also goes this side becomes minus 175 okay so now 15 minus so now let us solve it minus 70x minus 60 add and give minus sign so 3 133 so minus 133x i have got here and this all you can add together and give a minus sign integers already have read yes or no so let us add it 5, 10, 15, 20, 0, 2, 4, 8, 5, then uh, 2, 8, 9. And this is 2. So add and give minus sign. Okay. Now let us solve this. This is plus 15. This is minus 133. You have to subtract it. Let us subtract it. 13 minus 5 will give me how much? 8. And uh, here uh, 2. So I got here 100 and 18 minus 118x is equal to minus 2950. So minus minus sign gets cancelled out. X will be equal to 2950 divided by 118. So you can divide and check. It will be cancelled with 25. Okay. So what is the value of x you have got? 25. Now is the point now you have to verify the uh, verify whether the left hand side is equal to the right hand side by putting the value of x equals to 25. So what shall we do now? Left hand side. So what is the what is on the left hand side, students? X plus three. So x x is what twenty five. So I will write here twenty five plus three divided by seven minus. I have I am just substituting the value of x to be twenty five. So wherever I have x, I will be putting twenty five. Two x means two multiplied to twenty five minus five whole divided by three. Let me solve it. 
25 plus 3 28 by 7 minus 25 twos are 50 first multiply 50 minus 5 will be 45 45 by 3 clear so this is 7 fours are 28 this is 3 15s are 45 so 4 minus 15 I will be getting how much minus 11 ok now let us come to the right hand side and check this check this check for same right hand side is equal to 3 multiplied to x x is 25 so 3 multiplied to 25 minus 5 whole divided by 5 minus 25 so let me find the value for this 75 minus 5 divided by 5 minus 25 so this will be 70 by 5 minus 25 so 5 14s are 70 14 minus 25 will give me how much minus 11 okay so hence we have verified that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side okay so students let us come to the second question now so here also let us find the lcm of the denominator 7 4 14 so obviously you know the lcm will be 28 yes so now the first step LCM divided by the first denominator. How much? 20 divided by 7. How much we are getting? 4. So 4 multiplied to the numerator. 3C minus 2. Okay. Then you have minus sign. Put minus sign. Now next. 4 is the denominator. So 28 divided by 4. We will get how much? 7. Multiplied to the numerator. 5C minus 8. Okay. Likewise here also. LCM. 28 divided by the denominator. How much you will get? 2. And 2 multiplied to the numerator, 1 will be how much? 2 only, right? Okay. Now next let us solve it. 4 multiplied to 3c, 12c. 4 multiplied to minus 2, minus 8. Minus 7 multiplied to 5c, minus 35c. Okay. Minus 7 multiplied to minus 8, plus 56. That is equal to 2. Okay. Now let us keep the like terms together. 12c minus 35c. Okay, I have put it together and this side I will shift the numbers. So here we have 2. Okay, so this minus 8 comes this side, becomes plus 8, minus plus 56 comes this side, becomes minus 56. Okay, so now next 12c minus 35c. So 12 minus 35, how much are you going to get? 23. So it will be minus 23, minus 23c. 2 plus 8, 10 minus 56. Okay. So now minus 23c is equal to 10 minus 56 will be minus 46. Minus minus cancels out. So you have here 46 by 23. So what is the value of c you obtain? 2. Now let's check. Let's verify also. So we have the left hand side here. 3c. So 3c means what? 3 is multiplied to 2. Minus 2 whole divided by 7 minus 5 c means what 5 multiplied to 2 minus 8 divided by 4 clear so now here we have 6 minus 2 whole by 7 minus 10 minus 8 whole by 4 so we got here 4 by 7 minus 2 by 4 so this cancels out now we have 4 by 7 minus 1 by 2. So what will the LCM here? 14. So 7, 2. So it will be 8 minus 7. So how much we got here? 1 by 14. And what is the right hand side? Right hand side is equal to 1 by 14. So that proves that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And hence it is verified. Okay. Students, now let us come to the next question. Here also you can see the new denominators. So check out the denominators. 2, 4, 3. And here nothing is M is 1 is there. So what is the LCM of 2, 4 and 3? 12. LCM is 12. Okay. Let me write the LCM here. LCM will be 12. LCM of what? Denominators. Now 12 divided by 2 will give me 6. So I will write here 6 multiplied to x plus 3 minus. 12 divided by 4 will give me 3. So I will write here 3 multiplied to 3x plus 1 equals to. 12 divided by 3 will give me 4. Yes or no? So 4 multiplied to 2. This 2 is there outside. So I will multiply 4 with 2. So it becomes 8. Okay. How does it become 8? Use the C rules. Three, uh, 12 divided by 2, 3 will be how much? 4. And 4 multiplied to this numerator I am multiplying 
as a whole I will multiply. So it will be 4 multiplied to 2, 8. And this will be 4 multiplied to 2. Why 4 multiplied to 2? Sorry, 12 multiplied to 2. Because the LCM is 12. So 2 by 1. So it will be 2, 12. 12 will multiply to 2, right? So now here 6x plus 18 minus 9x minus 3. 8x minus 16 minus 24. Okay. So it will be 6x minus 9x minus 8x. I will bring this side. Okay. Please students follow the steps carefully. Now minus 16 minus 24 is already there on the right hand side. I will bring this minus 18 plus 3. Minus 18 minus 3 becomes plus 3. Plus 18 becomes minus 18. So now 6x minus 9 minus 8 will give me minus 17x. Now let me add these 3 because these 3 are negative. So 12, 18, 8, 2, 4, 5. So minus 58 plus 3. Okay. So now I have got 6x minus, uh, 6 minus 17 will be minus 11x. And this will be minus 55. So minus minus cancels out. X will be equal to how much? 55 divided by 11 that is equal to how much? 5. You cancel it. Okay. 5. Clear? So now let me put the value of uh, uh, x as 5. So right hand side I have what? x plus 3 that means 5 plus 3 whole by 2 minus 3 multiplied to 5. So I can write now directly 3 multiplied to 5 will give me how much? 15. So 15 plus 1 whole by 4. Okay. So 8 by 2 minus 16 by 4. This cancels out 4. 4 4 is 16. So how much I got here? 4 minus 4 that is equal to how much? 0. So in the on the left hand side what I have got? 0. Now let me check the right hand side whether it is also coming 0 or not. Right hand side I have 2 multiplied to x minus 2. x is what? 5. So 5 minus 2 whole by 3 minus 2. Okay. So now this is this will give me 2 multiplied to 3 by 3 minus 2, 3, 3 will cancel out. So 2 minus 2 will give me how much? 0 again. Okay. So this proves that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So students, now let us come to the next question. You have a decimal here. So proceed carefully. So now here you have 0.2x, 0.09x and 0.05x is there on the right hand side. So let me bring this x to on the left hand side. Okay. So let me write it down 0.26x plus 0.09x and minus I, if I bring this it becomes plus plus 0.45x is equal to 8. Now we shall add it. So let how, how to add? Add carefully the decimal. Okay. So 5 plus 9, 14. 14 plus 6, 20. 0, 2, 4, 4, 8. So how much I got here? 0.80x is equal to 8. Okay. Now x will be equal to, so you can just uh, solve it here itself, a 0 0.80 can be written as 80 by 100, x is equal to 8, right, here also you can cross multiply and do directly or you can just cancel it first, so let me uh, reduce it or you can, uh, okay, let us let me cancel the 0, 0, so I got here 8x by 10, 8x by 10 is equal to 8 by 1, I can write, let me cross multiply this 2, so how much will I get, 8x multiplied to 1, 8x, 10 multiplied to 8, 80. Okay. So x will be equal to 80 by 8. That gives me how much? 10. Right. Okay. Now let me put the value of x as 10. Substitute the value of x as 10 and verify the right hand side is equal to right or left hand side or not. So LHS 0.26x. That means 0.26 is multiplied to 10 plus 0.09 multiplied to 10. Because x is there multiplied so now you got here how much? 2.6 plus 0 0.9. So after adding this two, we are getting around 3.5. Not around exactly 3.5. Okay. Now next, let's check the right hand side. Right hand side we are having 8 minus 0 0.45 multiplied to 10. So 8 minus it will be 4.5. So when you subtract 8 minus 4.5 students, do like this. Make, don't make mistake while in doing the decimal numbers, decimal subtraction, okay. 
This is 10 minus 5, 5, and this being 7 minus 4, 3. So how much we got here? 3.5. And that proves or that verifies that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Okay? So students, now let us come to the next question. X minus 10% of X is equal to 27. So let us solve it carefully. X minus 10% means what? It is 10 by 100. 10 out of 100. Of means multiply. X is equal to 27. Okay? So first let us distribute. We should solve what? Multiplication, right? So this 0, 0 cancels out. So x minus 1 multiplied to, so 1 by 10 multiplied to x will give me how much? x by 10 is equal to 27. Okay. So now the same method we can follow LCM of the numerator, LCM of the denominator. How many denominators you having? Only one denominator. That is what? 10. So LCM of 10 and 1, 1 will be how much? 10 only. So what you can do? Multiply 10 with the first term of this equation, 10x. Yes or no? 10 multiplied to x will give me how much? 10x. Minus 10 multiplied to x by 10. What I am doing? The LCM is 10. Okay. So, and then 10 multiplied to 27. This 10, this 10 also cancels out. So, I have got here 10x minus x is equal to 270. 9x is equal to 270. And x will be equal to 270 divided by 9. So, how much I got? 30. Okay. I got 30 here. And let me... Just put the values. X. X is 30. So 30 minus 10% of 30. 30 minus 10% is 10 by 100. Of is multiply 30. So 0, 0, 0, 0 cancels out. I got the 30 minus 3 that is equal to 27. Right? On the right hand side what I am having? Already I have 27. So this 27 and 27 both are equal. So left hand side is verified. Uh, uh, left hand side and the right hand side are equal. Okay. So it's verified. Clear? Now students let us come to the last question for today. Here also you have decimal. So now what we will do? Here you have a little coefficient y. So let us bring this y to the left hand side. So 1.5y. So this becomes minus 0.5y. Because you are bringing it to the left, to the left hand side. And this plus 7 goes that side becomes what? Minus 7. 7. Right? Okay? Now 1.5 minus 0 0.5. See, 1.5 minus 0 0.5 will be how much? 1. 1 1.0 is 1 only. So, no need to write 1. Simply what you will write? The literal coefficient is what? Y. Y is equal to how much? Minus 7. Okay? Now let us substitute the value of Y. Left hand side is 1.5 multiplied to Y. What is Y? It is minus 7. Plus 7. Okay? So now, we have got here minus 10.5 plus 7. So now students, this is minus, this is plus. So subtraction you will do 10.5 minus 7, 10.5 minus 7, 7.0 it is, okay. So you will get how much? Minus 3.5, minus 3.5 you are getting here. So minus 3.5. Now let us check out the right hand side also. 0 0.5 multiplied to y. y is what? Minus 7. y is minus 7, right? So how much you got here? Minus 3.5. 7, 5, 35. Decimal, you know. And then minus multiplied to plus, minus. Okay? So student, students, now with this, the we are, uh, we are going to end this session. I hope you have gone through the video carefully and you have understood each step properly. Please try to understand each and every step, how to solve it. And with the help of these solved questions that I have explained today, you will complete your exercise, right? So, till the next class, take care and study well.